Oh, it seems like we're back here, huh? Don't know if this camera angle's good still. Don't know if uh, the lighting's any good. I'll just live with it. I'll live with my decisions. But just so you know, this is a set I previously owned. <laughs> it's probably evident by this uh, being taken apart and everything. I can't do anything beyond just try and, you know, make up for it. I don't know. I'm just rambling on here just until I have to build. Give me some slack, okay? I haven't recorded one of these. I haven't recorded in over a week, and I haven't recorded one of these in maybe two, three weeks. So, uh... I guess I just start. The first piece to remove is actually an action piece, so I'm just gonna do this right here, and... Ow. The blurry set in front of you is set number 2518, Knuckles ATV consisting of 174 pieces, and the reason why you're watching this disassembly is because it was under 200. It consists of two, I repeat, two minifigures, Knuckle and Kai in his DX version. Originally priced at $24.99 USD, this set was originally produced in January of 2011. Oh yeah, I also wanted to show you what I had purchased today. Look at this. Look what I bought. After I finished the series, I made my decision to purchase that. But it doesn't end there. I also happen to purchase these as well. So, uh, I hope you're looking forward to that. And if you're saying to yourself, Hey, where'd all those pieces go? I just want you to know, this was all recorded before. Just so your tiny little minds can comprehend it, and I didn't just magically lose the pieces. There you go. Here's the uh, uh, minifigures that come with this set as well. Uh, Kai DX, he's in his uh, Dragon Master suit. I'll call it that because for whatever reason, they decided to do that. And Knuckle, the General of Lightning. Uh, he... I don't know if they're special to the set or anything. <laughs> but uh, this spinner just... Randomly comes with the set, and I don't know why, and I still don't know why. It just does, oddly enough. Okay, that's enough of these. You know what? Fuck it. I can't separate these last two pieces, so we're starting it off with this, as if it's one piece, okay? It's literally... It's basically the same, and I can't separate it out, okay? I admit defeat. I tried for a little bit. I don't want to bother with it anymore. Alright, as I was separating it out, I came to learn just how fast, like, and simple this set is. Even though that it's 170 pieces, I believe. I know I just read it, but I just had to disassemble this as well. Again, cut me some slack. It's so quick to build it that it all makes sense. If that sentence even makes sense. Like, it's all just one piece that fits together, you know like a lego but <sighs> some of the things i say should not come out of my mouth just because they don't make enough sense but makes sense to me i should probably uh talk about when was this recorded segment when was this recorded oh boy <laughs> so this episode was recorded the same week as the very first episode of the lego series was released it still hasn't gone up on the channel, it's been uploaded, but it's still scheduled to release. Don't know if I'm waiting for good news or bad news yet. This was supposed to be recorded, I think, around... I really don't remember what the original day I was supposed to record this, but then spring break happened and my family started coming around and I couldn't do anything really. And I do have one topic that... I already have planned out in my head of what I want to talk about today. Uh, and it's simply this set. It's not this particular set, but it's going to take some backstory to uh, fully understand this. So, as you know, these are collector's items. As you know, LEGO goes and removes stuff from their shelves and other retailers such as Walmart and the like. Uh, I started gathering up the old, uh, the old Season 2 sets, I enjoyed that, and I wanted to build more. So I went searching for older sets, like this, and 
uh, Ice Dragon and other things like that. Obviously, you could only get them through secondhand retailers uh, that would upsell them by an incredible amount. While I was searching the internet for prices that I, as a kid, could even fathom, I stumbled upon this. This set. And obviously, I bought it, but that's after a great amount of time of anguish <laughs> dealing with the fact that I had let this set disappear from my hands. You might want to buckle up for this. Go back all those years ago. Uh, I, I maybe had one or two sets of the of this series produced and I was looking for more. And I knew that I wanted this particular set as well. I knew that I wanted this set uh, because of General Knuckle being in the set. He was an interesting looking character and I wanted to see what he felt like, really. That might sound weird, but those little spikes on his head, they looked interesting. I didn't know what they used to design it. One random day, right before I go on vacation, like the day we're leaving for vacation, we stop at Walmart to pick up like a few things, like maybe to drink or snack on. I don't really remember the specifics of why we were at Walmart, but we were going into the back. I think we were going to pick up like one electronic or something. Uh, probably for the house we were staying at or something. Or the hotel, who knows. Um, but I just decide, you know what? I've got a little bit of time because we were, we had to wait for it, I guess, or something. I don't remember. Cut me some slack. I was a kid. But, um, I decide to visit the Lego Isle. And I just wanted to see if the new season had come out. Lo and behold, season two is still there, so I didn't see anything there. However, while I was there, my eyes fell upon a single red box, which I don't have. And it was this set, Knuckles ATV. And my eyes, well not my eyes, my adrenaline kicked in. I was like, what is this doing here? Why is this here? This shouldn't be here. How did this get here? It wasn't here a week ago. It wasn't here yesterday, because I had just been there. <laughs> like, the day before, I had just been there, I think. I just kept holding it, and I didn't know why it was there. I kept holding it in disbelief. It was odd to see it. It shouldn't have been there. And then my mind remembered, Oh, shit. I have to leave. I can't stay here. I have to go somewhere else. And that's when my little mind knew to hide it. <laughs> I wanted to hide that from the general public so they couldn't buy it instead of me. I mean, technically speaking, I wouldn't have been able to buy it because it should have been removed from their shelves and it wouldn't have been able to ring up, I don't think, in Walmart's transactions. Um, but, so I hide it. And I hide it behind, uh, three of the most expensive sets. Uh, so, obviously... To reduce the amount of people buying them. I wasn't lucky enough, unfortunately. I came back from my vacation probably like a day later, like a day after the vacation. I immediately go into Walmart. I hop over and oh shucks, it's gone. The boxes that I had moved, the entire aisle had changed. <laughs> so it wasn't even like somebody had purchased it. I guarantee, I guarantee it was because an employee had to change up the schematic of the area. They did what they were supposed to. That kind of sucked. But in the end, I ended up purchasing it. And I don't even remember how long the difference in time was from me missing out on purchasing it. Probably at uh, release price and what I got this for. I don't even... I'm pretty sure I got this new off of Amazon or something. I don't think the price increase on the Amazon page was that much. I really don't know. I can't I can't remember anything because this was in the past and this is a pre-opened set from myself, not even from someone else. After that Walmart story of finding it in store and then not being able to purchase it because an employee did their job. <clears throat> I don't have any other stories. Now on to a repetitive step where I have to build some uh, 
technically these these aren't the tires these are the suspension and boy when this is finished i want to show you how much suspension this thing actually has i'm going to tell you now this is the annoying part of building these tires Trying to get this disc to sit on these two little pegs. There we go. All four tires and suspension are complete. Oh wait, <laughs> fuck. I just looked down and, at the instruction and I just realized I'm building it toward me. I'm still building it toward me. This is the way that you're supposed to watch it. My god. <laughs> I knew I made a mistake. I knew it looked odd. Like, nope, not that far. Like that. This has to be even, not that side. There we go. Now we're back on path. And now, like any other skeleton set, we start to build the actual teeth of the skeleton. The scary, scary teeth. One thing that I kind of want to know is, even though that I've uploaded the video and I've marked it as not meant for kids, but also not meant to be age-restricted, I wonder, because I, I believe there are certain ramifications, like YouTube will literally change a video and be like yeah this is made for kids you fucking idiot what are you talking about this this has lego in it it's meant for kids whereas legos are actually meant for all ages and that's what they were originally intended for even though it's mostly a children's toy i just gotta try and avoid getting hit by kappa that's all i need to do but I don't believe I, except for one joke, and that was the penis joke, all the way back then. All the way back in February. Odd to think that, as I say, back in February, I am currently in February. And that's fully assembled. So now this goes on, oh fuck. On the front, like... That! For some odd reason, I am, I've, I think I remember these going back further. Maybe, maybe I just forced them to go like this or something. Oh god, I remember struggling with this as a kid because I, I wanted it to be perfectly, like, aligned. And obviously you can only do so much and try and be as precise as possible being a human, naturally. And then because there is a little bit of a step up, it does add a little bit more definition? I think that'd be, that'd be the... Right time to use definition. Aesthetic is right. Definition, uh, probably not. I mean, it shows that there's a hidden feature, but it's not really all that hidden because you can kind of just look past other pieces to see it's there. There we go. There's that. Oh no, the controls. And then we start working on the final touches. Oh shit, I banged the shit out of my mic. There's that. And now we load in the final piece that started it all. There we go. That's an entire piece. Ah, and that's another Lego set done. This is Knuckles ATV. Man, look at that suspension. <laughs> no longer need the piece remover. Technically could have gotten rid of that at the very beginning. But yeah, you got a spinning ninja who has no idea what's in store for him. And... Well, uh, I'm an idiot. Maybe I can plan it out better because I can't exactly see the shot. I think this will work. And I think with the spinner, he's like the perfect height. So that's maybe why they did it like this. Hey, it kind of hit him. Oh, well. You can't ask for much more. You got a little bit of a backstory for this set. And, uh, you guys got some insight as to the next few series that are going to be coming out. <laughs> Uh, I should probably stop touching this before I make more of a mess. Either way, have a nice day.